season over. The Premier League campaign is now finished for Chelsea. There's nothing more we can achieve now at this point. And let's let's just end this season, all right? Let's end it because I'm sick of the constant embarrassment, humiliation, the bottling and the constantly falling standards at this football club. Just when I thought that we could not go any lower and that this was supposed to be the game that we should have won easily. Tell me a single Chelsea fan who was underconfident going into this game. No one. We all thought we were going to win. But Chelsea, at home, against 10-man Burnley, managed less for the second half because company got a red card, end up finishing 2-2. And that's all because of a penalty from Cole Palmer. If Mudrik would not have been fouled, and it was pretty debatable as to whether it was a penalty or not, if that wasn't a penalty, we would have lost this game. And we could have lost anyway. Jay Rodriguez hits the crossbar in the 90th minute. If he heads that in, I'm telling you, there would have been a full-on violent protest at Stamford Bridge right then and there. And I wouldn't be surprised if things start kicking off now. We had the Clown Lake posters and banners before the international break. You best believe there's going to be TFOs and stuff now. Clown Lake out. It's going to be at our next away game, I'm 100% confident. And if you're wondering why away... Stafford Bridge won't allow banners against the club, but the away fans, they don't care. The away club want us to, uh, the other clubs, of course, want us in more misery. Because we're going to be worse then, and we're probably going to lose, but guess what? We're going to lose even if you don't distract us. Even if we're at our best, we're going to lose. Because that is our best. We are not capable of, an, of a top 8 finish. Our highest position this season, highest, is 8th. We have never finished we have never finished the day above 8th this season. Unless you count before the before a ball was kicked. Just because our name starts with C and we're at the top of the alphabetical order. We have not been above 8th the whole season. And this game, you know, we, we put up a string of a few wins before the international break. This was supposed to be the easy one. This was supposed to be the start of the run-in. I thought, you know, 8th is possible, 7th is possible. 8th could be a Conference League spot as well if Top 5 ends up being Champions League uh, this season for the Premier League. So I had confidence, alright? But after today, I am convinced we are not finishing Top 7. We don't, we're not going to be in Europe. We're going to finish mid-table again. We're not winning the FA Cup. We're not beating City after this. And there's that, season over, there's nothing to fight for, so a lot to talk about in this game, but I don't even want to talk about the game, it's more of the bigger picture of what happens. But if you uh, somewhat do enjoy this video guys, do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. So, talking about the game. The game started off well for Chelsea, but for the first 10 minutes, Burnley started playing well. Even though they're without Tatra Fofana, because they're his parent club, they started doing well, they took two shots I think. Uh, and they actually look like scoring. Petrovic made uh, made two good saves. Then, however, you know, we start dominating. As expected, we start playing well. And then, uh, you know, Disassi scores that goal, but it's uh, ruled out for handball. And then, you know, we're putting, putting on the constant pressure. It's expected that we're going to put on the constant pressure. We're going to dominate. We're going to score eventually, which we do. All thanks to a penalty, Mudrik uh, gets fouled, they get the second yellow, company gets the red card, they're down to 10 men, and then Palmer with the Panenka. I mean, as much as I can get frustrated about yesterday, that penalty was world-class, some top-level stuff. You can just see how confident he is, Cole Palmer, at the moment. Gives us the lead, and then we're going into half-time, 1-0 up, 10 men. We're like, this is it, come on, surely it's now over, the game is done. We come out for the second half and once again, Poch has done some black magic to these guys at half time. They come out clueless and we concede within 90 seconds, I think, or two minutes, whatever it was. Good shot, Petrovic can't do anything, he's fully stretched, but it's absolutely in the corner and it's 1-1. And then we know what's going to happen, they're going to sit back like the old Sean Dyche Burnley and we just can't, def uh, can't break down a low block and they're going to be struggling the whole game. That's just the story, we're attacking, attacking, attacking. Nothing is going in. Substitutions happen. And by the way, the number of shots that will hit straight at the keeper today, I think there has to be some world record for that. Most shots straight at the keeper in a single game. I think there has to be some sort of record. I got to check later on. So yeah, the substitutions happen. Gallagher came off for uh, Madueke. And then Sterling came on for Caicedo. So we were playing with Enzo as the only midfielder. Uh, in the game for the last, I think, 30 minutes, which I think did come back to bite us in the end, now that I look at it. I was already sceptical. I thought, you know, if I want a single midfielder, it would be Gallagher, because he can run. You know, he can do the defensive and the attacking work. Not Enzo. He can't run. And he just came off uh, from Argentina on Thursday. I'm surprised he even started this game. But whatever, then we start attacking, and 
all of you were slandering Sterling. Uh, they kept saying, oh, Sterling is uh, pathetic, deserves to be benched. I didn't say much on Sterling because I knew these kinds of small teams, his experience, this is where he thrives. And that's what he did. Sterling flicks it onto Palmer. Exactly what Palmer did for Chukwameka's goal before the international break. Flicks it onto Palmer. And of course, Palmer is going to score. I think uh, that puts him on 30 goal involvements this season. 30. That's that's just incredible. And uh, by the way, speaking of goal involvements, check out my last video where I talk about how Palmer is the last player since this man, Eden Hazard, to get 30 goal involvements, which is just crazy. We don't deserve that guy. We, as a club, we don't deserve Palmer. And then, we get a corner, and then once more, we do not know how to mark against corners. It was visible in the cup final. Madueke was marking their centre-backs. Madueke. Why, where, where's our centre-backs gone? What's wrong with them? Of course they're gonna score. And then from another corner, they almost scored a third. Jay Rodriguez almost scored and made it 3-2 to Burnley. But we can see it, and then somehow... I mean, come on, after Palmer scored, made it 2-1, we were all sit back, relaxed. We thought, this is it. I mean, come on, this is it. Game over. We're gonna, you know, run down the uh, last 15 minutes. But we can't even do that. So, of course, it ends 2 all, and then that's it. Season over. Hopes are done. Before the game, Pochettino came out with all the, all the stats show we're supposed to be top four. The stats showed we were supposed to win this game as well, but we didn't. We didn't. Because we're in a mess. And by the way, for those people saying Pochettino is the problem, we all know it's the boardroom, the sporting directors, it's it's a much serious problem than just Pochettino. But for all those who say Pochettino has to leave at the end of the season, uh, Pochettino is not a Chelsea level manager, I'd like to say that we aren't Pochettino level right now. He never finished 11th with Spurs. He failed to win the league with PSG yet yeah, once, but he didn't finish 11th. I doubt that Pochettino is too good for us. And that's not me slandering my own club. I'm just telling people what the reality is. The reality is shocking because if Pochettino leaves, who's going to come in? You think a top manager is going to come in? Poch just came in because it was one bad season, alright? It could have been like 15-16. We could have been back to normal this season. Like fine, like normal Chelsea. Top 4, top 3-ish. But now that it's two seasons and the way it's looking, everyone knows this isn't a one-season thing. It's a problem. It's a serious, deep problem in the club. Who's going to come in? If Poch leaves, Amarim isn't coming. He's got an offer from Liverpool. De Zerbi isn't coming. Bayern or Liverpool are the clubs that managers are going to go for this season. Now that they don't even have Jabby Alonso, they're going to start poaching our targets. And speaking of Burnley, Winston Company was our, on our shortlist after Poch. Are we going to go for him if Poch gets sacked at the end of the season? That's why I'm saying we've done too much damage already. It might be irreversible. But in my opinion, sacking Pochettino is only going to do more damage because there's no one on the market to come in. And no one's going to be willing to come in even if they are on the market. You know? Mourinho's not going to come to this Chelsea. He's already said it. This, ain't, uh, this isn't the Chelsea we know. He's already said it on camera. Pot maybe Pochettino isn't good enough for us, you know? We have we have a manager who's clearly top four quality. Let's be honest, he's taken Spurs to a much higher level than they were throughout their whole history. We have to stick with this guy and give him some good players because if he leaves, you best believe we aren't getting a new manager of that quality. We are just not. And I'm not, oh, Poch is the best, Poch in... There are some things that are purchased for as well, like in the League Cup final, the way he approached the extra time. But it's not all his fault, let's be honest. These players are falling like sticks. Lavia, Reese James. Lavia, we have no idea what happened to him. I haven't even seen him. Is this guy, is this guy, does, does he exist? Or is he just some fake person Chelsea have shown us as a player? Does this guy even actually exist? Because I didn't see the Crystal Palace game. I didn't see his 30-minute cameo. Reese James, another one. But he looks to be back by the end of the month. Chukomeka scores against Leicester. He's back on the uh, he's back in the medical room. He's back on the stretcher. For Fauna, he probably doesn't even exist anymore. Barry uh, Shield came back. But Chalabar is on the injury list again. Chilwell's back out. What is happening at this club? Robert Sanchez, not that I care about him. But even he's back on the injury list. There's something fundamentally wrong at this club. 
And after today, we've proved we can't finish top eight in the league. Now, all the, I, you know, I don't care if we lose every single game from now until the end of the season. Poch has to focus everything. All players, all players rested. Everything has to happen for the game on the uh, 20th April against Man City. That is it. That is the epitome of the season. That is all we have to play for. We have to beat Man City. It sounds impossible, but we haven't lost to them this season. That is all we have. Man U on uh, Thursday is next. I'm not sure if he'll beat Man U. I'm not even sure if he'll beat Sheffield. I was until yesterday, but after this, I don't even know if he'll beat Sheffield, Everton, Nottingham Forest, the games that were supposed to be easy. I mean, we didn't beat Everton and Nottingham Forest in the reverse fixture last year. Last year as in uh, start of the season in 2023. How do we know we'll win? It, it's looking to be another 10th, 11th kind of finish. That's why the game against Man City is everything. There's nothing else left to play for in the season. That's all we have left. So what... Uh, so yeah, guys. I mean, that's it for this video. It's a horrible, horrible time. You best believe no top players are going to come in the summer either. That's why I'm saying everyone's like, Oh, replace the players. They're too bad. Replace the manager. No one's going to come. We've done irreversible damage. We're stuck with what we have. So we just... We need a change of strategy, of course, but beyond a point, we can do nothing but hope, because the damage is almost irreversible. So I'll see you guys for the next one. If you've enjoyed this video, at least, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers soon enough. And I'll see you for the next one, guys. Have a good day, and goodbye.